Hello, it's Lisa again from Winter Sky Creations. I had an order arrive from Essential Stencil today and I was excited about it. So I decided to share with you what I got in my order. One thing I've been waiting on is their stencil brushes. Every time I've ordered from them before, they were out of stock because they're so doggone popular. So we're gonna try them out today on this project I have ready to go. But I've got four of them here, nice new brushes. It's always exciting to have new things to work with. Then I ordered with that three sets of stencils. And they come very nicely packaged. This one is the set of Mica. Three verses from Mica. Act justly. Walk humbly and love mercy. So I'm excited to find projects to put those on. Uh, let's see. Thinking ahead to the 4th of July, it's pretty easy to see that we have the, what do they call that one? I'm not sure what they call that set. Anyhow, it's a 4th of July set. Obviously, we've got July 4th here. We have, we'll show you on these, Stars and Stripes. Oops, I think that just shifted. Map of the States. Land of the Free because of the Brave. Stars and Shooting Stars, almost like fireworks. And each of them comes with a little booklet that lets you know how to use them if you don't know. It's helpful information in there. And then this last set that I got is the spring collection of flowers. We've got three large flower stencils here. Whoa, and we're making you dizzy. We've got the large, I'm not sure what it is, flower. We'll call it a flower. This one that's kind of like a sunflower and this other one that's more of a I don't know chrysanthemum what have you I've been looking forward to this because I had an idea to stencil canvas tote bags so I have this one here that is I don't know I think it was approximately 13 inches by something I don't know it's not very big I and mean, it's a good size it's actually a really good size it opens up to the you know tote bag size so it'd be a great size to carry books in if you're going some more with books if you're going to church and you want your bible and your notebook if you journal go out for coffee if you have anywhere to go get coffee yeah things here still aren't really open for that but let's see do i have something in there it feels like something's in there ah yeah, yeah, we don't need to stencil with the uh, little drying packet in there, do we? So, I'm going to try stenciling with this. It has been literally decades since I stenciled on any kind of fabric. I'm going to take the, the black cardstock that comes inside each set of, set of stencils that will fit inside here perfectly. That way, if there's any bleed through, it won't bleed through. And this is the one I was really wanting to work with here. And it is the perfect size for my tote bag. You don't get a perfect view of it because I'm still needing to get something to work with for that. Uh, I think I'm actually going to tape. I didn't get it out. Hold on a second. Where is my tape? All right, I've got it. Whoa, and it's getting away from me. Tape, painter's tape is usually best, especially if you're doing it on other projects. I wanna make sure this isn't gonna shift around too much since it's such a big stencil. And these handles up here make it just a little bit wobbly. So we're going to put a couple pieces of tape to hold it, hopefully still enough to not smear. See, I was testing some colors earlier. I don't know how well you can see those on my fingers, but they're there. 
I'm sure before I'm done tonight, I'll have more colors on me. If I have colors of paint on my fingers, it's been a good day. I have wanted to do this all day. It took forever to get to it because... Uh-oh, there we go. I don't know what happened there. There were other th exciting things happening today, like life. Things like laundry. Taking the trash out because it's the night it gets picked up. Okay, making sure it's all gathered. Cooking a meal. You know, sometimes people like to eat. I've got some colors here. Today I'm using the Liquitex Professional acrylics in tubes. It's a tote bag. It probably won't get washed, but if it does, if you've ever gotten paint on your clothes, you know it almost never comes out, especially if it's sat for a while. And if I really wanted to worry about it, I could, after it is completely dry, heat set it with an iron, and it won't go anywhere if I can wash it. But I have this to paint today, mostly because it was a really good price when our craft store went out of business. So... I'm going to start by putting a dab of each on my handy dandy paint tray. It had a zucchini or something on it. It comes in really handy for things like this. When it gets yucky, then I can throw it away and get another one. And uh, I actually have an official paint tray somewhere. But I typically grab this, one of these, or couple other things that are disposable. Use them until they get yucky. So I have all my four colors out and since we have a pretty good sized area to cover, I'm going to get the biggest brush. I think that's the biggest one. Seven eighths, yeah that's bigger than three quarter because fractions are weird. And when you're stenciling you want a brush that has a really flat surface so you can get the paint on that way. I'm going to start with the lightest color, work from the center out, and because I kind of want the colors to blend together, I am not even going to switch the brush in between colors on this. So we'll dab, try to get the paint into the bristles pretty good here. So we get it covered up pretty good, but you see it's a little, I, my lighting it really isn't good, is it? I don't know how to make that any better than it is, but it'll have to work. But you don't want it too gloppy. That's a little too gloppy right there. I know the fabric will suck up a little more of the paint here than, than does uh, a flat surface, non-porous. But we're just going to start in the center here. And I just wanted a flower that started one color and worked out to other colors. And I'm kind of in a blues, yellows and blues mood lately. So I'm getting the next color of a lighter blue. So I am just figured I'd stay with that theme. It's making me happy lately. So. Ah, yes. Yes, Kelly, this is interesting. If it works out well, I may try this with some of the ladies or the teens at summer camp this summer. Which is why I wanted to get this project and try it out ahead. And also, I might be able to sell a few of these and get some of that money I keep talking about that I want. Mm. So, so far this is very easy. I'm kind of getting it to blend a little bit with that yellow that's in there. Alright, that looks good for that. We'll try the next shade of blue. But I thought this might be fun. I get to, uh, I get to be the official craft lady at a summer camp this year. And that'll be a brand new experience for me. So I get to spend four weeks living at the camp and doing the crafts with especially the younger kids. That part <laughs> kind of scares me a little, truthfully, as I am not as much of a younger person teacher. I've been assured that I will have assistance there for me, so. Good thing is, the first week is the youngest group of kids, so I get to have them and get done with them. Not that I want to get rid of them or anything, just that gets the part that I am most, maybe not worried, but the group that makes me a little more edgy, I get them out of the way first. 
but I thought the tote bags might be nice for like teen girls or something. Oh, I just got the wrong color of blue. At least it's not on my brush yet. So there we go. Huh. All right, get you over here where I can see you. I wish I could get this in the camera view better, but my paper towel roll and selfie stick just aren't cooperating today. And I think I've chased my husband out. I told him I was going to do a live that I wouldn't be answering him for a few minutes. So he went to take the trash out. He's usually pretty good about just disappearing when I try to do this. All right, I'm going to try to go out to most of the edges here. The ladies at the uh, campground might like to do the tote bags too, as long as I can find them for a good price. These ones, I had a coupon. Got them at Joanne Fabrics. That's not always the best price around here, but I had a coupon for 40% off and I had a gift card that I forgot I had. So it was almost like getting them for free and at a discount. So now we will start with the last shade of blue. Get that out of the way. Not sure if this is quite what I envisioned, but you know what's exciting here? This tote bag has two sides. If this isn't exactly what I had in mind, I can try again on the other side. And no matter what, it'll still tote stuff around just like it did before it got paint on it. Wow, that's really using the paint on the blue part there. I knew that would. I knew this would use more paint than other things. But it's got to be fun. These can be done in any kind of images. I think the one with the mica verses would be pretty. I kind of have a vision of flowers, like one of these flowers done in a really pale color for the background and then maybe one of the mica verses on top of it in a bold color. Ah, I'm losing a bristle. That's not that bad. Should have seen the other brushes I had before this when I started first few times I used them they lost so many bristles so I've got to say this is definitely a lot nicer than what I bought before. The only reason I didn't get these sooner was they were out of stock because they're so doggone popular at essential stencils. I have to say if you're interested at all in stenciling especially if you think you might use stencils more than one time Essential stencils have amazing products and they have very good customer service. They ship fast as long as the postal service cooperates with that part. So uh, they don't have control over what postal service does, unfortunately. The uh, product is very good quality. People there are really good. And one of the things that I also like is you can find things like the Bible verses and other, you know, they're all decent things. So uplifting and decent. So I think, I think I'm going to call this one good. Stenciling with this does not have to take long. Even though the edges aren't quite covered, this is not too bad. I like the way those colors are going. So... Let's uh, close this paint so we don't end up squirting it out somewhere else. So, ah, thank you. I like these colors. They are my happy colors. Most of the time they are my happy colors. So, this part is the fun part. Get this loosened up all around and pull this up. And it's so much fun to reveal. Now, as that is, I am liking this. Oh, yes. So, yeah, I can't quite get the whole thing in there. If you hold on, maybe I can lift this a little higher and get it better. There. So we got almost all of it there. Oh, I'm liking that. I am definitely liking that. I may still do the other side in other colors just to try it out. But I am definitely liking how that turned out. Yes. Hmm, 
I am going to have to make more of these. I can see me trying to find some more of these, so, and doing more. I've got three different flowers to work with. I think I'll use the same image and use other colors probably tomorrow because I don't want to turn this over and stencil with the other side right now until this gets really dry. But I am really liking that. Hmm. I wonder if granddaughters need more tote bags. Might be a fun gift for Easter. Ah, good idea. I have to do that maybe. So, well, this ended up actually being a lot shorter video than I thought, but that's okay. We can have short ones and long ones. I didn't really intend to get on here two days in a row, but I actually weirdly enjoy doing these lives. And, like I said, I got these new stencils in the mail today a couple days earlier than, than it was predicted. And I just had to try them out, and I wanted to share them with all of you. So, thank you. I am quite happy with this one. I think I will do the other side with, hmm, I don't know. What colors would be good on the other side? Hmm. Something with more yellow. Yellows and oranges. Oh, I think that would be fun. I think I'll do that on the other side tomorrow. So, if you check back on my web, oh, not my web page. My web page doesn't go anywhere yet. Check back on Facebook or on Instagram at Winter Sky Creations and you will see the finished product photographed tomorrow once it's dry. And maybe I'll have the other side done too. I think oranges and yellows would be fun to do on that. So then if you're carrying it, you can use whichever side makes you feel happy that day. So see you later. Have a good night, everyone, and thank you for joining me. Bye.